Yes, so with the month of February starting this week, uh, we have a few days left in January. So, <laughs> this ends No Spin January. Uh, we've had a great, great time growing, reflecting, learning with uh, each other and with you guys if you are following along. And so here is our last little bit of reflection on the month. Um, you want to kick it off? Yeah, I first off want to start by saying thank you all so much for all of your encouragement throughout this month and your comments for subscribing to our channel and just yeah. journeying with us. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're just so grateful to have made it this far. January is pretty much done and in the books there's like two days left. So um, if you go back to look at when we were sitting on the couch talking about no spend month, we, like if we, if we could, could do, do it, it yeah. I mean, even if <laughs> I watched it the other day and I just saw my face and I was just the whole time, like, just like pretty much like mm, not interested. Yeah. And then let Damn alone cast. our first car therapy, you know, day oh, one, sure. but we've come a long way and I'm just so grateful. And I think my, um, uh, first takeaway uh, I wrote it down here. And Gia wanted to join and say hi because y'all haven't seen her in a while. So she's doing great. You want to say hi? Say hi. Yeah, there, not to me, to the camera. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> yeah, to the camera. <laughs> say hi. All right. Okay, <laughs> there you have it. Uh, so I'm just so grateful. Yeah. For you willing to jump along on this journey because um, this is something very different for you um, and you've done it with so much positivity you really haven't complained at all you've just we've laughed together and really journeyed in this thing like to where um, I've it's, it's built my trust and confidence even in you yeah. and and I'm and I'm so grateful for that so I thank you my love 100%. thank you, Got you, you back, know, I really Absolutely. appreciate that and I feel like the next challenges that we have because all year long we're going to embark on different challenges every month um, as we get better yeah. together and grow together and um, we invite you at any point in time if you want to join in on our journeys our challenges you're welcome to do so and um, but yeah I really think that trust because and the example I gave is like we were um, driving home um, from visiting some family and um, it's like an hour away and we had some leftover food in the car that would need it to have been warmed up. Food, once again. Uh, food, it's always going to be food with us. That ain't, ain't nothing changed but the date. I mean, that's us. Um, so there was the option of like you know no spend january is like almost up yeah. you know we've made it this far like what's what's just spending five dollars on a quick snack you know because we can't really warm up our food or you know whatever and then we decided to just know like we'll eat some of the cold leftovers just to hold us over until we get home yeah. we did that it was fine and that small decision what it did for me it built once again just my storehouse of trust and confidence in myself to stick to what I said I would do and it's just so good to be able to know you can trust you like that you can rely on you you know um, that you won't let you down and then when you couple in as a married couple that he didn't in my moment of weakness be like you know what babe we should just treat ourselves well you deserve it or and just kind of succumbing to once again the flesh that spirit of entitlement that spirit of like oh well, you deserve no no like for going all of that really denying self staying to the yeah. plan because what you deserve is someone you can trust what you really deserve is being able to know that like I got my own back he's got my back I got his back that that is what really fortifies you and so just not giving into temptation not compromising on what you set out for yourself that's how you really make a difference you know and gain that um, track record and that yeah. growth and that yeah. momentum so character right yeah. yeah so I love it and I love you so much and thank you love you too for sure uh, yeah I think my my final thoughts would be um, we were talking and I was just saying how the world tells you that happiness is out there or the remedy to what's going on inside of you is out there. Right. So, you know, people, um, people fall into materialism or they fall into uh, self-medication through different things, through uh, drugs or sex or whatever the case is. But as you know, you know how we rock, you know, we're, we're believers in the Lord Jesus. And what it showed me was Donald, um, a lot of your issues with food, i.e. spending money, no spend January and how most of your spending is tied to food. 
And if you've been watching, you know, our videos, you know that uh, we talked about how I'm kind of like a 600 pound skinny man on the inside. But it's this thing where it's like when it came down to my, excuse me, when it came down to my uh, comfort, dealing with stress, um, again, that entitlement piece, I bought into the lie that the remedy to that was outside of me, Your home. right? Oh. Outside of the home. And not to be on any new age stuff like, oh, the answer is within, because we're not definitely not on that, but the answers. But it is within, because if Jesus in, is in you, 100%. then he's the answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's within. Revelation it's within. Right there. Revelation. So, boom. So, so the, <laughs> boom. <laughs> you agree? So the Jesus that is within me and him being the him being wisdom, right? And him offering us the spirit of wisdom and the ability to navigate through uh, the things of life from, like you said, the storehouses that we've built up within ourselves through his word and through godly counsel and through communing with him. Um, the issue isn't out outside of me, but the issues are truly in me. Mm, and mm. Um, and that is very relevatory. And so I think we said this a couple of weeks ago that, that this has really been like a fast. And whenever you den deny yourself something and you arise to a challenge, how it pulls out so much that is deeply within you. And yeah. as you work through those things, um, that literally is how you get better uh, and you get better together, you know, in, yeah. in, in our case. And so just, just as an encouragement, if you are unhappy or unfulfilled, uh, don't be so quick to run to something external to mm. remedy that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But as you, but as you do, <laughs> that's our word, bro. I was you, just talking about that. As you do the work within, with as you seek to figure out what the root cause is within, then that's whenever true transformation happens. Like yeah. you know, external uh, motivation or external change, like it's so temporary. But like whenever you change from within, like. That's what's really, really, really lasting. And so it's just so encouraging to realize that, to really see that, like to really see like, yo, I am unhealthy. We are unhealthy in this era. Like, and, and really in some areas, like we, like this is sin. You know, I was talking about how earlier, uh, whenever, whenever Satan came to, uh, to Eve, you know, the thing that he tempted her with was the, the belief that she could be wise like God and that by eating of the fruit that that would then give her what literally God had already given her, which is, which is himself. And it was by her and her husband, Adam, pressing into him and walking with him and knowing him, they could have domain. They could have the ability to, uh, they could have the ability to do what God had called them to do. And so same thing today, like his tricks have not changed. Like he really wants us to buy into the lie that really with the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, you know, and, and the lust of the flesh that we will be more satisfied by taking a hold of something outside of ourselves as opposed to grabbing more hold of to and communing with and being with the God who has created us and the God who has sent his son Jesus to not only die on the cross with us, but then to give us the spirit, the, the very spirit of God to live inside of us. And so I'm not going to preach too much, but yo, this is, um, it's good, bro. It's very rich. Very, very, very rich. It's good. You have anything That's else? Good. Yeah. Just, I mean, um, my friend that I was talking to about that recently is, uh, we were talking about our upcoming challenges, which we're going to do another video to share what our february challenge would be so stay tuned but she was just saying how in this particular area when she looks at different factors in life how she's the common denominator how she always used to say oh it's must be this or it must be this and then she was like oh wait no i'm the common denominator. i was like yes girl you are the problem but you're also the solution mm. so Yes, the problem is you and is within you, but also the answer and the solution is with you and within you and um, it is in you. And, you know, you're capable of just by. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish you guys could see what I could see. Cutest little face looking up at me. So, yeah, like it's just amazing how um, tapping into once again, all what you already know, which, you know, most of us just common grace of basic common sense but then as god is so faithful to as you seek him you will find him and as you seek more of his truth and as you ask for that wisdom he will graciously give it to you it's not it's not rocket science it's not really that hard it just takes a little bit of denial to yourself a little bit of pressing in and 
boom like all of these things will you know open up i wanted to share real quick um that we were so blessed this month to eat out but we didn't spend money um there was one exception and we're going to share that with you yeah, but so. i just wanted to share um the restaurants we got to eat out of. i had <laughs> remember how like video one we was like driving by all, all of our favorites well this is interesting that we actually got to visit some of our um, favorites which included cheesecake factory maggiano's chick-fil-a uh dunkin donuts starbucks and california pizza kitchen is one yeah and california pizza kitchen yeah. and this is just through blessing some people who knew we were doing the challenge some people <laughs> who didn't know but just gift cards or inviting yeah. us out to eat just being so blessed to um not have to spend uh, money there was one exception a mexican restaurant gift card we'd received we didn't even think to check the balance to call the you know number when we pull up our food is ready and we ended up having to spend like 14 dollars yeah, because, because the it wasn't, wasn't activated was so. act yeah. yeah so that was our one slip up but it wasn't obviously anything it was very like planned we thought we had more than enough on the gift card yeah. um but lo and behold we didn't so we didn't just leave our food sitting there it wasn't their issue at right. that <laughs> that we didn't have the money so we we're like let's just pay these people and and then uh move a little further so we did great we really did great and it wasn't that hard i think a huge reason why it wasn't that hard was you trusting me more that i would do what i had to do on my end with the meal planning and with um um grocery shopping and just all of that because y'all for real like i can't think of one time in my adult life where i have or even adolescent life <laughs> where i have for like even maybe four days straight maybe five days straight like cooked and prepared between the two of us every meal like breakfast lunch dinner without eating out once i can't think of it i can't think of it y'all let me know in the comments if you if you guys have done, like every single meal like at I can't think of yeah. once and now it's like you can do it I can do it and I want to continue we're actually in February you know continue, we'll, continue. we'll talk about that in another video for sure so I know. well hey it's definitely been a been a phenomenal journey the journey continues for sure this is definitely not the end uh so many principles that we've learned that we want to continue to implement and so uh listen uh love 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 if you guys have any questions or comments for sure email us hit up the comment section below uh share the video like. i guess that's our cue to go much love from us and we'll see you guys very very soon on the next video blessings peace guys